Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another guide for the Siege of Paris DLC. I am in Shatra, and this is a place where you can do lots of rebel missions quickly. And this is useful if you want to farm tokens and raise your infamy to unlock the rebel armor set. So the trick here is to look for missions that mention Stampus in the description, S-T-A-M-P-I-S, because that town is very close to Shatra and you don't need to fast travel to get there. But even though it's close, you're still gonna get the bonus for doing a far away mission. So there's something about where this town is located. Maybe it's because you have to cross a river you're going to get a bonus for doing a mission that's not nearby, even though it actually is very close. And this is a tip I got from one of my viewers, Winifred. And when I tried it out, it actually works really well. So I just picked up this mission and I'm just going to cross over this bridge and the convoy is right here. And what I like to do is use the Thorn of Slumber to put the target to sleep. That way you can assassinate them immediately. And you don't have to confirm the kill because you've already killed them with an assassination. And you don't need to kill the rest of the convoy or the other enemies. So for the convoy mission, you can just kill your target and then head immediately back to the quest giver here I'm swimming across the river instead of going over the bridge. And here we are just two minutes later, right back in Chartres, where we started. So we got this mission done quite quickly and can pick up another one. And I also got a small bonus for keeping both of the rebels alive the rebel allies survived is it too so that's another way you can get more points on these missions so now i'm gonna choose a rebel mission that mentions that same town i was just in stompies and for me it's usually the third one in this list but i'm not sure the ordering is going to be the same for you but just look for a mission that mentions stampus I'm going to speed up the remaining missions to double time just so we can get through it a little more quickly. But you can see this mission is going to be in the exact same location that I was just in right over this bridge. And I'm using the Thorn of Slumber again to put a bunch of the enemies to sleep and then kill them as quickly as possible. Here I'm dual wielding spears because I was just spear fishing. I made a whole video on a really good place to do spear fishing and catch fish and turtles really quickly if you want to farm silver. So I'll link that on screen and on the description below. I found that the spears are useful against those mounted cavalry opponents. I found it easier to kill the enemies on horseback with the spears, so that's why I kept using them. But of course you can use whatever weapons and whatever strategy you want to dispatch with these enemies. The point is that once you do, you can just cross the river and pick up another quest very quickly. And when we get back to Shatra, we're going to Pick a quest that is going to bring us right back to that same town. And again, it is going to be the third one in the list. This one mentions Stampus. So we're going to go right back to that nearby town. And I am doing these as solo missions just because that's easier for me. If you've watched any of my River Raid videos, you know I like 
doing missions solo, even when I have Yams Vikings or agents available. But you could take agents with you onto these missions if you want, but I'm just doing them solo. And again, my same strategy of using the Thorn of Slumber and then assassinating the target, jumping back onto my awesome bear mount and heading right back to pick up another quest. So I found this a great way to do rebel missions quickly. If you have other tips, let me know in the comments below. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.